So now that you've explored the differences between the random points and the not random points, done a little exploratory data analysis, maybe it's time to do a little bit more. In this case, we're thinking about those cheat grass points, not related to elevation, but related to who owns the land they're on. Maybe it's not a biogeography question about the elevation or the landscape that they're in. Maybe it's a political geography question about who owns the land, how they manage it. So we've got, if you look at this, we can stare at this long enough. We've got cheat grass points. There they are. Turn off topography. We've got land ownership points. And we could imagine, oh, is there some relationship? Are, are these cheat grass points being found on certain types of land ownership? If only I could put a vector or two vector files together. They've both got attribute tables. Look, there's, there's one, there's the cheat grass and there's the land ownership attribute table. And if only I could put them together somehow. Now we're used to in this question, when I say join, you think, oh yeah, right click, join. We can do that, right? Mm. We don't have any common columns. Joining them on FID wouldn't help us at all because that is not representing the same thing. But we can do something a little bit more, actually a little bit more obvious. We can see that these are overlapping, right? Right, I can see that these are overlapping. You can see that these are overlapping. That overlapping nature could be used as a way to join them together with something called the spatial join. So rather than having a key value in the database, the key value is their spatial relationship. Geography matters after all. Uh, you notice that I did a little right click and you can see join, spatial join. I'm gonna pull up the tool though, because it's more fun to use the tool. Spatial join, there it is. Now, the only issue with the spatial join tool is that its verbiage is a little weird. I don't like the way it speaks itself into operation with this target feature and join feature. If I wanna get the ownership information connected to the cheat grass information mm -hmm. so that I can pull up a little attribute table that has my cheat grass points, cheat grass points there with my owners. I've got to put these in, in the correct order. Again, this makes a new file. You can do this wrong until the cows come home. But let's try to do it right the first time. So my target feature is the geometry I want to preserve. In this case, I want points at the end. So I'm going to put my cheat grass here. Uh, let's put it, why not? Let's put it with the elevation information that we have. That's even fun. That's even more fun. Can you tell I'm having fun? I hope you're having fun. So I'm gonna link my elevation sheet graphs. Why not? Get elevation, get, I can throw this into whatever kind of multi-factor statistics I want to at the end of this. So target features, the geometry I wanna keep. Sheet graphs is the geometry I want. Join features is the information I want. What information do I want? Land ownership. I'm going to keep my one-to-one -one join. I'm going to keep all of my features. We're going to use intersect as my option. So I'm happy with these defaults. Let's hit run. And see what happens. You'll notice I didn't choose the best name. Cheatgrass Elevation Spatial. That's not a great name, but it's, it's okay. We'll, we'll let that little mistake be. Turn our mistakes into happy trees later on. Hey, look at that. We've got my cheatgrass. We have that elevation information we raster valued earlier. And now we have all of the information from that ownership file. Is a lot of this useless? Absolutely. Do points have areas or perimeters? No, they do not. We probably should get rid of that. But now we could do something like, I don't know, stylize these points by their ownership we could do a little bit more statistics on them. We could display them in a nice handy chart that also had their lovely ownership information. If you zoom out enough, 
when you make these big enough, what size should we make here? Do, do, do. Well, I'll just leave them like that rather than poke around. Actually, let's make them a nice. No, oh yeah, reds and blues. I like that. So all of a sudden, we have unified our data set. We've added a bunch of data together, and we've really made it easier to see, easier to understand what's going on with this cheatgrass information. We'll skip away from the cheat crafts for a little bit uh, after we do some uh, spatial clustering. So we'll look at this data one more time and then uh, have some fun with some other stuff. Sound good?